Hey guys! It looks weird! Hello gentlemen, welcome to the Range Rover crash test with a pillar. Since the Range Rover is a fighter, the Range Rover withstands everything. There is no worse impossible on the Range Rover. You can absolutely do anything on Range Rover. Therefore, we try to compare the incomparable. This is Ram. It's heavier and more powerful. And it seems to have a more correct all-wheel drive. And I'm going to have a broken park shift on the gearbox. But it doesn't matter anymore. Let's try to tug of war. In my opinion, Dodge will win. Moreover, there is a weighting in the body. I'm on low gear. He pulls away. Anyway, Dodge wins. I'm on the brakes, look. I'm just standing on the brakes. No, the Dodge is heavier and the wheels are wider. But there is also an advantage of the Range Rover. It costs 265,000. And the Dodge, 266. A little more expensive. This is really the car that… Uh, it's a pity that this story ends. I would still ride it on the off-road. I would have put the tires a little bit nastier. I would have changed the drive. Of course, I don't really want to get into this engine, but this is a Range Rover. I can live with him forever. I'm in this, so to speak, uh, as it's called, Land Rover ecosystem. I am immortal. Land Rover is immortal with me. We all know about each other, and really, I would still shoot a series with it. But I don't think it will be so interesting to you. There is an idea to take another one of the same. Well, just at least for the motor to be alive, because you don't have to do anything with this motor. I'll remind you again. But take the same one, but just with the leaf motor. And it's okay to give a thrust right on the off-road. Straight hard. Maybe prepare even bigger tires, so arcs and so on. But in general, it's a pity. It's a pity that will end today. Seriously pity. In short, it was clearly centered so that pillar, as always, went right through the door. In general, we slightly jammed the upper part of the roof when lifting the car, but in fact it is not essential. The fact is that we know the design of this car very well, because we saw the same one quite recently. And in this regard, we have a lot of interesting information for you right now. By the way, you have asked many times for the type uh, Kastian collapse your ranch right on the pillar. So we have an amazing opportunity now to look at the cut. By the way, we will do the same in the future videos with pillar. We will cut the car like this and we will tell you that now this car is immortal against the pillar. There is no point even beating the Range Rover against the pillar because it may even surpass the Porsche Cayenne. It's heavier and it's stronger, like everything English. When we saw the Bentley Continental, we were also blown away by the amount of iron. So that's what the pillar will met on its way. Let's look at the layers. Two layers at once. This is the outer part of the rocker panel. The inner part of the rocker panel is another layer. Reinforcements between two rocker panels, three sheets of metal are attached to each other and another layer at the end. That is, the pillar must pass through two, three, four, five, six, seven layers, of which three are soldered together. And so this is still among themselves with permanent partitions. This is not a single partition. The partitions go this way and that. Door. Let's open the door. It contains inside a bulk like this, aluminum, thick. You can imagine what thickness of the wall of the bulk. It's five. It's a five. Moreover, it's also an eight-shaped bulk. Five millimeters. It's just an incredibly strong structure. Pillar has absolutely no chance against the Range Rover. It makes no sense to beat it. That's why it weighs two and a half tons. Therefore, a Range Rover is your key to survival in any dangerous situations. Here, everything 
everything is thought out 10,000 times ahead. Mobile activation for a second. This type made the telemetry super stable. In one mono case made of polyethylene, scotch tape, power bank, logic itself, and so on. So it will stand as usual here. I'll tape it up now. But this time, the probability that something will tear out the wiring or shaking it is extremely small. Well, it just seems to me that this is what the standard looks like. Well, that's it, amen, gentlemen, everything is done. I won't open it just in case, because it's very inconvenient to strap this car. And I will open it anyway. And you can see the straps, as we have conditionally, because this strap is pressed by the door. The straps are not fixed very well, to be honest. Launching GoPro. Closed. Pulled. Now we'll check, we'll tighten it up again, probably just in case. The car is very heavy, it stands high in the wood boards. As you can see, we tied up the suspension specifically, so that the wheels do not cling to the ground, otherwise the car will have to be lifted higher on the wood boards. And you're bombing that high crossovers crash into a higher point of the pillar, so that have advantages over it. Therefore, we tried not to raise the Range Rover higher than usual. Here in such a config, all cameras are on, quadcopters are flying, today is even scarier than usual in reality, because it is a heavy car, the speed will most likely be low. And I believe in 40. Are you all ready? Woo! That's the first time. I haven't seen such jokes yet. Did he crash the GoPro on a pillar? No, no? Lucky! Look at the amount of rebar it pulled out. That's a kick ass. Just look at how the pillar was destroyed. Destroyed, it looked super powerful. We can already see from the damage that the damage is not as powerful as it should have been. The engine tray is not a gearbox, gearbox it's nearby, here it is, and this is a tray. We're definitely not going anywhere. Problems. The stone is stuck, look, a piece of the pillar is stuck in the stretcher. Poor guy. This, in my opinion, was the toughest time of all. The cart is here, wait, what about the cart? Oh my god! Range Rover, in my opinion, got the maximum out of what was possible. Look how angry it is. It is not even a banana, that is, it absorbed the pillar into itself and carried it all this time just on itself. When a Range Rover crashes into a pillar, the pillar has big problems. The pillar has huge problems. And the deformation from here doesn't look right super terrible. We need to understand the speed. 58 kilometers per hour. Shock. This is a record in the history of our tests. I can tell you it's not all that bad in the cabin. For 58 it's a straight winner. And it's super strong. Super strong. That's why I trust these cars. 58. Now we'll put it on the wheels. It's a pity, of course, that the engine tray was destroyed. But... This is the M62, it can be launched even without a tray. We have about 5 minutes actually to drive. Let's fun. Okay, guys, now the task is for me to get into the car 
and it will be turned over. Are you serious? One, two, three. Quiet, guys. Guys! It looks weird. I, I almost walked out the door. Doesn't allow for the lunch. And why? Moreover, it even sees that the engine is slightly warm. The onboard computer turns on, it sees the fuel level in the tank, everything is fine with it. This steering wheel is not jammed. The key not turns? No, there is no starter. There is no starter. Maybe it's very similar because all the lights are on and the starter... No, no. The dashboard sees all the gears correctly. Yes, uh, the car knows what it is on. Except for the drive. The drive doesn't turn on. And yet I'm sure that the engine doesn't start, because we do not have oil in the engine. I don't know how it is in the M62. BMW owners write in the comments, probably by the oil sensor, but by the oil level sensor. It says that it is not there and accordingly gives a ban on the starter. For some reason it seems to me. Or something else, or really knocked off the wire. Anyway, what do we see? Two and a half tons is a huge amount of inertia, which demolishes everything that gets in their way. Through this, you have a certain greater survival inside. The driver, of course, is dead here absolutely. The airbags didn't work, because firstly, the car was muffled in order to raise the suspension, and we raised the suspension so that the car sat lower, and it has a more, so to speak, normal position relative to the sedans. So that it was not raised on the wood boards and did not hit the upper part of the pillar. And even if the car had been started, the pillows were still an error here. The pillow block didn't get in touch, and they would not have worked anyway. The car is just too dead for the airbags to work here. Here you can see the curtains. It's a pillow. As you can see, it feels great on the spot. It is there, it's just physics that works. A big heavy machine in which a lot of iron is better at fighting some obstacles in the form of concrete. The same iron and everything else. It will also work positively with you in terms of accidents. Cayenne experience. Cayenne was heavy. In my opinion, it weighed 2100 or 2300 and it also showed itself well against the pillar. And in the same way, the driver is also dead there. But nevertheless, passengers, both the right passenger and the rear, have a huge chance of survival relative to other cars. And this is the most important thing. But this, unfortunately, is just physics. I can't say anything good about Land Rover specifically. It's just that an old heavy car works better on a pillar than even if it's new and light. We have proved this. The rest is up to you. Otherwise, it just like this car by itself, so I'm not objective. But, of course, we wouldn't have been able to save the driver anyway. 58 km per hour. Think about your safety. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck to all of you, and bye.